Mamma Mia! We're unboxing all the Super Mario Brothers movie toys! Let's go! <laughs> Behold the King of the Koopas! Hand over Luigi, or I'll huff and puff and blow your castle down! <laughs> Help me! Mario! At $29.99, hands down, Fire Breathing Bowser is the must own toy from the entire line. Standing at an imposing 7 inches tall and with 14 points of articulation, the mighty Bowser just looks menacing. He's ready to crush Mario. The most amazing part? Even with his chunky size, he's got great movement in his arms, legs, and even tail. It's a bit disappointing that his head lacks articulation, but that's offset by his biggest selling point, fire breathing. His rubbery back shell comes off and you can insert three AAA batteries inside. There's a cap on the back of his head that opens. Fill it with eight to ten drops of water. Simply press the spike on the back of his shell. Do you yield? I do not. You see the smoke? His mouth lights up too. Turn off the lights to really see the fire coming out of his mouth. This toy is a total one-up. Mario, where are you? <laughs> I finally found it. Now who's gonna stop me? It's a me, a Mario. We're getting Mario, Luigi, Princess, and Toad in the five inch line. All of these figures have realistic eyes, which are both cool and creepy. Each costs $20. Here's Mario. Everything looks great except his face. Mamma mia! If you're a big fan of Mario's new look, Yahoo! there's a lot to like here. Love all the sculpted details like the pinching on the hat. You can see all the stitching on his overalls, he's got rivets, look at his shoes. Now he's got actual laces and treads. For an action figure, Mario has great detail, but where it really shines is in its articulation. You can create a ton of poses from the games, he's even got waist movement. Surprisingly, his hat is not removable. Wish there was more movement in his head so he can look around. Mario always gets cool power-ups, but now he's getting a plunger. Can't wait for when he unclogs sinks and fights evil <laughs> Bowser with a plunger. Where's Mario? Do you think I know every human being with a mustache wearing an identical outfit? Because I don't! <laughs> Here's our damsel in distress and everyone's favorite scaredy cat, Luigi. Luigi looks straight out of Luigi's mansion and always looks like he's gonna wet his pants. Luigi, number one! I actually love the Luigi figure more than Mario. Really great details on his overalls. He also has the same great articulation. I love all the different poses you can put him into without worrying about balancing issues. Mario! He does suffer from a lack of head articulation. Let's give him his massive flashlight, which unfortunately doesn't light up. Hello? Dear Mario, please come to the castle. Peach. Here's Princess. Princess Peach looks so princessy with her little crown. I love her size. She looks just like in the movie with great sculpting and painting. Yeah, Peach has got it. Where this model really disappoints is in its lack of articulation. From the waist down, she's as stiff as a mannequin. Most of her movement is in her arms and shoulders. The waist swivels a bit, but the head doesn't move a whole lot. She's got tiny feet at the bottom of her dress, but they don't move. Hold your umbrella, Princess. Oh, no! oh, oh, oh. This is fun! <laughs> so long, eh, Bowser! Thank you, Mario. Here we go! Look at Toad! I think he can stop Bowser on his own! How? Look at us! We're adorable! He reminds me of Treasure Tracking Toad. His booties and arms have great movement. Unlike Mario, he can roll his head around on a ball joint. Toad's head looks like a gigantic mushroom filled with helium. With his big head and backpack, it's hard to keep him balanced. You can bend him forward to balance him a bit, or stick the pan in his backpack through the hole. I wish the backpack could be removed. He can hold the frying pan in his hand or stash the frying pan in his backpack. He's got an axe, a rope, and a deadly frying pan. <laughs> Welcome to Mario Kart! Select your player. We have the Walmart exclusive Mario Kart pullback racers retailing for $14.97 each. There are four figures in the line so far. Mario, Peach, Toad, and Koopa Troopa. Each comes with a cart and a two and a half inch rider. 
sides. While the figures lack the same articulation as the 5 inch figures, the figures have just the right amount of articulation to pose them in their cars. Yippee! What I like most about this line is that the characters pop out of their Yippee! vehicles. And I like how they can even Let's hold the steering go. wheel. Here's Mario. He looks awesome. Here we go. This cart looks just like in the game, but is slightly more realistic and less cartoony. Love the front panel and white stripes. And nitrous Let's booster pad. Take a look at Peach in her motorbike outfit. Let's go. Finally, we get Princess in an outfit other than her dress. Yahoo! Loving the slick look of the cycle. Complete with a princess crown decal yeah, and yeah. nitrous booster. Because she rides a motorcycle, she has added articulation in her Yay. knees, allowing her to sit on the bike. The pinholes under her shoes let her stay on the bike. The motorcycle's design lets it stand without a kickstand. Toad has a big, imposing monster truck reminiscent of the Tiny Titan. Yeah. Some nice details throughout. Massive oversized wheels, a working steering wheel, and nitrous. <laughs> Koopa Troopa got his Bonsai Bill motorcycle. I'm especially impressed with the design of the Bonsai motorcycle with this smiling Bonsai Bill. Take a look at the beautiful sculpting on his shell. All of them have the pullback feature. It's actually fun to mix them around like in the games, but they're not entirely designed for that. Here's Koopa in the big truck, Peach on the Bonsai Bill, Toad in the cart, and Mario on the bike. Here's the one and a quarter inch question block figure assortment. There's Mario, Luigi, Princess, Toad, Koopa Paratroopa, and Kamen. <laughs> Articulation is very limited. Each one comes with a question block that unfolds, but it's essentially the same environment. You can't have tiny figures without something to play in. Here's the $29.99 Mushroom Kingdom Castle playset that includes Mario and Peach. I love the Princess Peach stained glass sticker. The castle doors open and you can sort of stick a minifigure inside. I can just imagine Mario jumping into paintings Ouch, in there. What are you doing? On the back, there's a beautiful sticker. Check this out. It opens up to reveal a full level inside. Love the robotic piranha plants. You can have Mario and friends play through the whole stage. There are blocks that slide out. Watch out for Bullet Bill, who swings around. There's even a fireball but it seems poorly designed because it can't spin around freely. For super service, call Super Mario Brothers Plumbing. They'll come over with the van playset, just as in the commercial. How cool is this? Check out the Mario Bro license plate. It's got the old school artwork on the sides with Mario on one side and Luigi on the other comes with the same Mario minifigure. Hello! The tires spin too, so it can move around. The back opens and the playset unfolds open. You've got everything from the Mushroom Kingdom to the Dark World here. What is this place? Do not touch that mushroom, you'll die! Let's head on over to the Jungle Kingdom Raceway. It includes a Hot Wheels Mario Kart die-cast vehicle. This set requires assembly. Let's see it in action. Mario, start your engine. Go! Mario sails around the loop. Can you believe it? And he's come full circle to do it all over. Also available is the Hot Wheels plumber van. <laughs> Check out the 14 and 15 inch posable movie Mario and Luigi. They're Target exclusives retailing for $29.99 each. Here's Mario. You can't have Mario without Luigi. These plushies are weighty, big, and fun. They've got plastic heads and soft bodies. Can they actually have overall pockets? With bendy wire inside, their arms and legs can be posed. 